Aventine City Police Department, Administrative Offices. How may I direct your call? I'll Ray? transfer you to the hey. district office. Here, take this. All right. quickly point out how important a good security system is. According to recent Aventine City Police records, there are two B&Es in Aventine every hour. Every hour. Excuse me, but did you have a customer, Javi Morales? Maybe. I've had a lot of clients. I have a credit card statement showing that he spent a lot of money here. Okay. Then you should know, in my line of business, my clients value their privacy. Javi was my uncle. He died yesterday. And I need to know more about the vault you built for him. I'm sorry to hear that. Look, I remember Dr. Morales. He seemed like a really nice guy. But this is my business we're talking about here. I would need proof of death and a copy of his notarized will before I could release my records to anyone. Here is my uncle's death certificate. It's really important that we get any information about the vault you have. I'm very sorry for your loss, but I still can't give you anything without seeing the will. Thank you. Going up to Tech City Police Department. Yep. Administrative. I'm bringing Ray here up I'm to the interrogation room. Go on up. I'll and remember, you to the he's not office. to leave the interrogation room. I can't count the number of times you've reminded me. And I can't count the number of times you've needed to be reminded. Can I get the death certificate and will of Javier Morales out of this thing? Is that the dead guy from the lab? Yeah. Since he's connected to your case, you should be given access. Oh, but he just died yesterday. Death certificates don't get filed in the archive until usually two weeks after death. But we can probably get the will, assuming he has one on file. Yep, I've got his will pulled up. Go touch the screen for the authorization check. And if you need a second copy, just let me know. Johnson, can you help me out with something in the copy room? Sure thing. Which button makes it go? The green one. But that's not the right size paper. Tell me more about the technology behind that control panel. Sure. The panel is hooked into the primary law enforcement system. I can control a number of functions. 
really impressive is all that it's doing in the background. In order to comply with federal guides... But that's not the right size paper. Then first, you press the menu button. Then select the paper size submenu. Then you have a selection for paper sizes. Select the one you want. Press that button right there. No, not that one. Alright, you changed the document orientation. Press the menu button. Select the orientation submenu. Oh, the one with the mouth on it. Next. No, that's the fax button. No one sent the fax in years. Press back. Now back to. No, you just changed the contrast. You have to set that back. Press the copy quality button. Contrast. Now move the slider back to the middle. Just drag it with your finger. No, drag it. Here, let me. Okay, now go back to the main menu. But that's not the right size paper. Then first, you press the menu. Then select the paper size sub menu. Then you have a selection for paper sizes. Select the one you want and press that button right there. But that's not the right size paper. Then first. Thanks, Johnson. I got the will. That's nice. Did he leave you anything? Only a whole bunch of problems. I need another copy of that will. Okay, I'll pull it up again. Go ahead and touch the screen again. You finished? For now. Anna. What can I do for you? Hold this. Sure. Excuse me, detective? What do you want? Would you follow me, please? Sure. Ah, welcome back! Here is my uncle's will. I'm listed as the sole beneficiary. I see. So many of my vaults are custom designed for special purposes, but this one's no different. It was built to house electronic data and a number of small devices. It's designed to destroy everything inside if someone manages to hack through all the layers of security. Even I wouldn't be able to hack it open. There must be some way. Well, Dr. Morales gave me two sets of fingerprints to encode into the lock-in software. One was his, and I don't know who the other one was. So this other person could open the vault? Well, as long as you knew the key code. Do you have any idea where the vault might be? The internal power generator and battery give off a lot of heat. You might be able to find its heat signature. What was the heat signature? All right, look, I just really didn't want to have to tell you this, but I've lost all my files on Dr. Morales' vault. What? I couldn't tell anyone. 
I'd be ruined. Me, the top security expert in Aventon City. Stolen? Yes, someone broke into my office two months ago. They went through all my files. The ones you're looking for are the only ones he took. Oh, but I caught him on security camera. Really? Here, I got a printout. Thank you. Excuse me, detective? Hmm? Have you ever seen this guy? I think he might be behind my uncle's death. I feel like I've seen him somewhere before. That's it. Give me that. Yesterday morning, I was staking out this known criminal dead drop with my partner. And we saw this shifty-eyed mope making a pickup. Take me to him. You better let me check it out first, darling. Darling? Please, call me Bennett. I'll go in and check it out. You stay out here. Fine. Hello? Konnichiwa. Who are you? Where's that shifty-eyed guy? I saw him come in here the other... Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you speak English? Sorry to bother you, ma'am. Same to you. What's this? A paper swan. All right, thanks. Well? He wasn't there. Just some Chinese lady. Chinese lady? Gave me a paper swan. Origami is Japanese. Hey, Ed. Hi. Hold this. Oh, okay. You, Ed. Hey. Hold this. Oh, okay.
There you are. We've been waiting. So, did we find it or what? I think so. Using the lab's thermal scanner and the information from Tortoise, I found what I think is the vault's location. It's in the tunnels beneath the lab's decommissioned super collider. Far underground. So how do we get in? There are several service and ventilation shafts that go from the surface down to the super collider. Using the blueprints, I was able to find one that should get us close to the vault room. It's here. Not far from here. The super collider passes underground. The lock looks pretty old. We should be able to break it and climb down. Climb? So this is it? Almost. Come on. Let's get this over with. What is this? We're in a service tunnel underneath Juno's old super collider. The vault room should be a hundred meters down this hallway. How do we get through? I didn't know the way would be blocked. They must have been using the crates to salvage pieces of this collider for the newer one. We'll have to find a way to move them. Move them? This particle accelerator used powerful magnetic fields to bend the trajectory of highly accelerated particles. We should still be able to start up the magnets in the ceiling to clear a path. Damn it, Ed, was that even in English? Us use big magnets, box go to sky. Do we still need this mope? Yes. I hurt my shoulder when I was a kid. Accident with a truck motor and a climbing frame. Long story. Anyways, having a metal shoulder around powerful magnetic fields is a bad idea. You three will have to clear a path for me. So, I'll hold anything you're carrying in case it's got metal in it. You mean my gun? Yeah, that sort of thing. Under no circumstances does an officer hand anyone else his weapon. I'm staying with Ed. Here, you can hold everything I'm carrying. To tell you the truth, I'm a bit weighed down too. Alright, the magnetic fields are highly focused and only affect the marked areas. Bennett and I can't be in one of those sections while the magnet is on, but you two should be fine. We'll support you however we can. Sorry, Ray? What's up? Thanks. Sorry, Detective? What do you want? Can you come here? Alright. Hey, Ray. What's up? Can you come here? Hi.
Sorry, detective? Hmm? Would you, uh, this way? Okay.
Yeah. <laughs> 